What's up, mummy balls? It's Aaron Itmar. Welcome back to more Pokemon Heart Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke. Um, so this episode, I think we are headed straight to the lighthouse. I think I made it so I can pretty much just go straight to the lighthouse and not have to worry about anything. There's an item down there. Nothing else, though. Um, let me check over at this side. Nothing. Can I go behind here? No, I can't. Alright, so we're going straight to the lighthouse because the Pokemon is sick at the top and the gym leader is of Olivine City is up there. And the past Pokemon used to blah, 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 blah. pay tribute. Okay, cool. Alright, so the lighthouse has a lot of different Pokemon around. Or not really Pokemon, you don't have any encounters here, but we do have trainers as well. Um, so let's go ahead. I guess I'm gonna work with Caesar for a bit. I hope he doesn't die. The I'm really disappointed. Um, I checked how to evolve Porygon in this randomizer that I used, and it has to be with it has to be holding the item it normally uh, would hold during a trade, and instead it levels. You have to level it up while it's holding that item, which kind of stinks because we don't get upgrade until the Silph Co. in uh, in Kanto. So we're gonna have to get make our way all the way through Johto, you know, hopefully. And hope that Caesar lasts all the way through Johto in order to make, uh... Oh, crap. Alright, you're gonna confuse back, ha confuse hacks me, aren't you? Uh, um, so we're gonna have to hope that... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, thank the lord you used rollout. I did not mean to do that. Um, so that means we're gonna have to hope that Caesar makes it all the way through Can all the way through Johto and up through halfway through Kanto to get the upgrade. And then if it wants to be a Porygon Z, we're gonna have to get the dubious disc pretty much at the end of the game, which kind of stinks. Uh, kind of bummed about that, so it looks like Caesar's going to pretty much be staying in its initial stage for the entirety of this playthrough, or at least the entirety of its life during this playthrough, which is going to stink. Alright, I'm going to Super Potion, uh, just because I can, and there we go. So yeah, kind of bummed about that, which pretty much means either we're going to be stuck with a single with a regular Porygon for the whole playthrough, or we're going to have to, um, it's going to have to die as a Porygon, which kind of stinks, but whatever. Alright, so you've got a horsey. Interesting. I didn't even pay attention to the Pokemon that he used. Oh, he used a Whalmer, so I definitely know it's still randomized. I'm still so, so, um, Dusk Tox. I'm still so paranoid that, um, it's not randomized anymore just because that happened that one time. I'm just su super paranoid about it now, and it kind of stinks. Alright, but there we go, Chaz has grown to level 24, no problems there, and I guess we're going to give you our phone number as well. Alright, now I think the next floor is actually where it gets a bit more difficult in terms of levels. Um, should we switch to Wii Fit? I think we've got a double battle. We've got, aha, avoided that phone call. I know we've got, we've definitely got at least one double battle. Uh, it looks like I'm not going to be able to avoid this, so let's just go ahead and do this battle. Maybe there's a double battle, there might not be. Ooh. Alright, you're a bird catcher, so you do have a lot of Pokemon. Alright. Bird catchers always have a lot of Pokemon, I've noticed. Alright, so you actually do have a flying type this time, which is interesting. I'm about to say flying, or bird type. Um, alright, let's go ahead and use Dragon Range, which will take him out, no problem. Alright, a hop -ip. I guess we can keep Chaz in, because Chaz can do wonders with Ember here. Alright, another Pidgey. I guess... You're just really liking the Pidgeys, huh? And then hop -ip again. Alright, so this is a pretty... A relatively easy fight. Not too difficult. Um, maybe I was wrong that it was about to get harder. It's possible. Alright, we can go out this way. Um, I think that's what we have to end up having to do. Because over here is just an item, but I'm glad I looked first, because I do want to see what this item is, so... Jasmine is the city's gym leader. I tend to bring her back with me. Nobody better get in my way. Well, guess what? We're about to get in your way, Missy. You've got a Starly. A freaking illegal Pokemon in this region. Alright. No issues there. All that, that was kind of risky. Oh, Swagger. Interesting. I uh, probably won't use that. Um, that was kind of risky keeping Medicham in with a Starly, but... You know, I wasn't too worried about it. I drove the world to train my Pokemon, now I wish to battle with you. Alright, thanks. I remember this- I always remember for some reason this guy always had a Growlithe. I just remember that for some reason. I don't know why that's stuck in my brain, but... There was always a gentleman in the lighthouse that had a couple of Growlithe. Alright. So let's go ahead and use Surf. As I- as I discussed in a previous episode, I know that Surf is not the best choice on Gyarados. But, it is the best choice now because Gyarados is in desperate need of some Water-type moves. Alright, and now we drop down 
onto the second floor of the lighthouse, and they conveniently hide that Pokeball just so you can't see it unless you ran past, and got ourselves a rare candy. Excellent. Alright, so let's head over this way. Alright, should we battle this guy just for the item? Eh, why not? Let's keep it going. Maybe we don't have a double battle in here. Maybe I remember wrong. For some reason, this is my favorite Pokemon game. For some reason, I remember a lot wrong about it. Alright. Fusion once more. And a Fan P. Should we match it with our Fan P? Nah, that's too risky. And he's prob maybe he's got ground type moves, but let's go ahead and swap to Slurp. And let's sludge it. Wow, that does a lot. Ooh, we gotta be careful with that when he's using Flail. Alright. Alright, he's stuck in rollout now, so we can go ahead and pound it to death. Alright, I was really worried about that Flail, but luckily that rollout happened, so I don't have to worry about getting super critted or whatever because it had low HP. And we got one more fight on this floor. I'm gonna go ahead and swap. Actually, Wii Fit is the lowest trainer, or lowest train still. We're pretty high up here. My bird Pokemon are in prime form. His bird Pokemon has, oh, he actually has a Hoot Hoot this time. Huh, interesting. So I guess they kind of swap it around depending on the Pokemon. Oh, crap. All right, down goes Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot. All right, now he's got a Haunter. Do I dare stay in? I'm, I'm, I'm taking a risk. All right, you confuse raid me. Not worth staying in. Not worth staying in. All right. Oh, and you just use Curse. All right. Well, that was not necessary because I'm just gonna switch out back into Hoot Hoot. I, another Hoot Hoot he's got. Let's go Caesar. Caesar. I didn't notice he was the same level as our Medicham here. Ooh, and Quick Claw activated. All right, and one more Psy Beam. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna switch Caesar out to the front now, and luckily we have Recover, so unless something pursuits us or gets a crit or something, I'm going to be safe and be able to recover most of the HP I have lost, which is, man, that move is so helpful for a Nuzlocke run. Man, I'm so glad I got, I was able to get Caesar here. Luckily you guys voted for it, and Psybeam should take, oh, you're joking. All right, at least he, there we go, and Psybeam, oh, Psybeam didn't one hit that thing? I am surprised. All right, and down he goes. Only got a little Ivy, where's Magnet Rise? Levitates using electricity generated magnetism for five turns. Oh, okay. So basically that makes it so, so you can't um, hit it with things like Earthquake and crap. Okay. So it basically gives it the Levitate ability in addition to its regular ability. Eh, that's good, but I don't know. Not really worth the learning of it. Alright, uh, Recover. Excellent. Love that I can use Recover. Oh, you. Alright, we're swapping out. Because I don't think I have anything that would do as much damage. I think Psychic type, if I remember right, is... Uh, Either not very effective or... Alright, this is annoying. Uh, it's either not very effective or doesn't hit at all a ghost type, so... Or maybe I'm wrong. I could be thinking completely wrong, but it was not worth keeping him in. At any rate, I'm not the best Pokemon player, as you can tell. But, whatever. Okay, Gabite. This thing's got Dragon Rage, and this is what really makes me irritated about this. That Dragon Rage even exists. It might, this trainer might, oh, it's the trainer might have gotten rid of, you know, let's just Dragon Rage it. Alright, he's not using his Dragon Rage. Luckily, we have our own Dragon Rage, so we can just get that out of the way. Alright, and then a Snow Runt. Hmm. Guess we'll just keep in Chaz. Chaz the Charizard! To go with Charla. Charla the Charizard from the anime. I always thought that was a dumb name, but whatever, I didn't, I didn't do anything. Alright, and here we are at the very top. We could have taken the elevator, but the power is down, I guess. Hello there. This Pokemon has always kept the sea lit at night, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Cianwood, but that's across the sea, and I can't leave Amphi unattended. And she shoves us out of the way and opens it up for us. Thanks, girl. What are you going to do? May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? I like how she doesn't even ask. She doesn't even ask you, like, you have to ask her, otherwise she's just like, Seeing Wood is a place, go there. You just assume she's telling you to do it. At least now she's asking. But now we can go all the way to the bottom. 
All right, let's speed this up because elevator animations are one of the worst things about Pokemon. They last much longer than they need to. All right. So we have been given our instructions to go to CN Woods City uh, to get the, uh, what's it called? The stuff for the Pokemon for the place for the sick Pokemon. So I'm gonna go ahead and heal up real quick. And then we're gonna head that way because now we have Surf. We can actually do that because we defeated the Ecruteak Gym, which is one thing that um, if you play Gen 2, they actually let you make it this far, I think, without doing Ecruteak City. But you were not able to... Um, you were not able to surf, so you basically had to do Ecruteak City. What do you say? Alright, you're just talking about ca uh, crap. Um, I think this guy gives us strength. Let's see. Yes, he does. Wait. Have you ever noticed that in the mountains, sometimes there are round boulders right in your way? You can move them with a pin move strength. Hackers on Mount Mortar sometimes have extra... Oh. So basically, we gotta go to Mount Mortar and do that. Gobble, gobble, choke. I'm choking. That was, uh... Alright, I like we just sat there and watched that guy choke. Alright, so I thought we got the good rod from around here. Maybe I'm wrong. Unless there's our build there's the Pokemon right there. Do I need Pokeballs? I think I stocked up enough last time. It's a problem with doing Alright, I stocked up. With our we got lure balls as well. Um Yeah, these guys no one gives us the unless up in the second row of crap of buildings of crap. Alright. Uh, maybe in here this guy there's someone who Yes he does. I knew someone here gave us the good rods, so now we can actually catch Pokemon that aren't Magikarp. Although with Shellgon as a replacement, I may just want to keep it. Although, I mean, we got a Raichu from the old rod, so I mean, can it really be that bad? I guess with a randomizer it doesn't really do that thing. Hey Cam, how are you doing? Cameron, the camera guy. Wait, what is this? Battle Frontier ahead. We can't go there yet, I don't think. Wait, is this a new route? Route 40, I think. It's, the music is different from CN. Yes, it is. Or Olivines. All right, so we can actually encounter our Pokemon here. I want to keep doing the fishing because that just is easier. Um, or at least for now, it's easier. It's the same Pokemon, really, but you know, just just on the off chance that the fishing rod gives us something different, I just w don't want to risk it. But here we go. What is our encounter? A Kabuto. That's actually really cool. I've I've actually really like liked Kabutops as a Pokemon. The problem is in most games you you get it so late and it's so under leveled as a Kabuto from the fossil that you just you don't really have an opportunity to use it. So I think if we lose a Pokemon, I might either. Gosh, the thing is we, we're getting so many good Pokemon that it's difficult to it's difficult to um use. You, it's diff getting difficult to choose what Pokemon I want to use, but there we go, Kabuto was caught. It's like, there's so many Pokemon, I guess I'm just going to choose based on what uh, what would balance the team the best. On rare occasions, some have been found as fossils, which they became while hiding on the ocean floor. Yeah, they became them, aka they died. They died! Okay, what should we name Kabuto? Um, I didn't see what kind of Pokemon it was. This is the problem with Pokemon I never use very often, I don't get to name it. I don't get a uh, opportunity to think of good nicknames because I've never used one before. I'm gonna go ahead and name this thing Sammy, mostly because I looked it up and I was legitimately stumped. I looked it up and um, the Japanese derivation of the name for it was uh, originant. Shut up, Chad. The Japanese. All right, you know what? We're gonna go to a menu and cancel that. All right. Um, the Japanese name comes from a word meaning samurai. So, I just, and it's because the the shell is sort of like a helmet that samurai wear, I guess. So I guess that, that's a fitting name. That's a very fitting name. Alright, we're going to have a trouble with Dumbo here and Chaz because all these trainers might have water types. Because even though it's randomized, they still tend to have the type that, uh, they still tend to have the type that they have, at least in some sense of the word. But we're going to go ahead, I think we're going to make the CN wood, and we're going to call this an episode, I think. Have to warm up before going into the water, that's basic. Alright, so, we're going to... Oh, interesting, I just talked about that, and then freaking fire types show up instead of water types. Um, we are going to have to... Uh, or I'm going to... I, I've been doing such long episodes lately, and they become sometimes a pain to edit, and sometimes a pain to post. 
And I mean, I like the ep longer episodes sometimes, but sometimes it's just nicer to have a shorter recording session. Just because it... Ooh, this is a dark type. Let's use hidden power, see what this does. Alright, this is not very not very effective on water dark types, so... But I'm... I'm oh, what? Switch out of that crap. That is messed up, man. Messed up! Alright. That was close. Um, so yeah, just sometimes shorter episodes are better than, in my opinion, are just easier to make than longer episodes. I like the longer episodes, but sometimes you just need quick ones to post. Alright, let's go over and heal with the super potion. Alright, and oh, I do have freeze heal as well, I think. Or ice heal, I think it's called. Yeah, ice heal. It's weird that ice heal is blue. Or I mean, it's pink and not blue, but... Whatever floats your boat, Nintendo. Whatever floats your boat. All right, let's see what this person has. Are you going to Sandwood? How about a quick battle first? All right, good choice. Good choice. You're just outside Olivine. Ooh, Alexio. That's weird. Alexio's gonna be drowning, dude. <laughs> I like how this randomizing all. The Ooh, that was close. I like how it's randomizing all the Pokemon are gonna be uh are like in the water that that don't belong in the water. Like they can't fly and they can't uh. They can't swim, they're just like, glug, 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 glug. oh crap. Ooh, that was close. Alright, let's go ahead and use another recover, and then we can run. Wait, I can't escape. There we go. That's the only reason I wanted a wild battle, is so I could, uh, escape and you or so I could use recover. And pluck! Kind of dumb move, in my opinion, but whatever. Whatever. Alright, let's go ahead and continue our way on to CN Wood. This person does not like to use. Um, whatever they just said. Freaking, freaking inflatable tubes. Wait, did you use baton pass? Why did you baton pass? Nothing happened. And you just killed your own Pokemon. Alright, Apom, whatever. Let's switch into Dumbo. I don't think Apom can hurt Dumbo very much. So let's go ahead and just keep using. Ooh, you're lowering my. Oh, you didn't even do that much. But you made me flinch. Get out of here. Quit messing around, man. Alright, we are going to use takedown. Because, forget this. Alright, let's just go ahead and use Flail then. That didn't do anything. Man, we're at that awkward point where Flail does nothing but Takedown's gonna do a lot of damage. Ah, so irritating. He kept, he kept, he didn't want me to use Rollout, it's annoying. I wanted to use Rollout, man. This Apom has a surprisingly high defense. There we go. Alright. Let's use more Super Potion. Wait, where are the Super Potions? There they, there they are. Alright, let's use some more Super Potions. Alright. And who should we switch out to now? I guess... Let's go with Dumbo. Eh, I'm so hesitant on using Dumbo. We'll use Dumbo for now and then switch out if I have a bad battle or something. Alright, let's see what other kind of Pokemon we could have encountered. A Vile Plume. Interesting. 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 Alright. Ooh, this is a new route, so we can't catch a new Pokemon here, so... A Riolu! Awesome! Awesome, that would be cool. That would be a cool use. Alright, uh, let's slurp, switch into Slurp once more. We gotta do the Yawn. Gotta Yawn, man. And because we're the same level, I should not be afraid to pound this thing. Yeah. Alright. Ooh, see? I'm. Uh, this is why I'm so hesitant to use... Uh, so hesitant to use any kind of move because I'm so unlucky when it comes to that critical hit thing. That almost that could have been a kill if it had just been one move later. All right, let's go ahead and use another Great Ball. And there we go, Riolu. Awesome. The Emanation Pokemon. They communicate with one another using their auras. They're able to run all through the night. Um, I kind of I think I've got a nickname for this thing. Um. Let me think real fast. All right, I'm gonna name this thing Bolin. This is from. Um, this is from. Wait. All right, hang on. I'll explain what it's from, but I want to make sure I'm spelling it right. All right, I am spelling it right. This is from Avatar: The Legend of Korra, and uh, I named it this because it's a fighting steel type, and with steel, it's sort of a uh, you know a byproduct of earth bending and fighting because he was in the fire ferrets thing. I don't know, you won't really get it if you haven't watched the show, but, um, that is what I decided to name it because, ooh, I'm kind of glad I didn't get a Dugong, I've got enough water types as it is, um, uh, and because he was sort of in the, the professional sports thing, so it sort of makes sense that he's a fighting type at any rate, so, I don't know, it just seemed like a fitting name, unless it was a female, I hope it wasn't a female, that's gonna be awkward. Uh, I'm a bit tired, if I win, let me your Pokemon. What? Yeah, right, no. 
I'm not doing that crap. I'm gonna go back to the freaking Pokemon Center and not mess with you anymore. All right, I'm not. I'm not playing around with this sand attack mess. Get out of here with this, bro. Bro, bro. I'm not messing with this. All right, why'd you baton pass into a oh a Totodile? That could be problematic, but probably will not be. Headbutt, get wrecked. All right, he's about to use Staravia. Um, I believe that thing is still. Oh, it is normal flying. Never gains the fighting type. Um. Let's go with Dumbo. That actually, rollout will do some good damage. Alright, excellent. Oh, you're gonna be this way. Are you really gonna be this way, man? Quit double teaming, man. That's messed up. That is messed up. Rollout. Come on, go. Alright. One more rollout. A couple more rollouts, actually. Oh, he's lowering my attack. There we go. Get wrecked, scrub. Alright, Oddish. Into Chaz we go, of course. Man, it seems like Chaz is like the counter for a lot of the Pokemon we're encountering. It seems like it was a lucky pick, but at the same time, we're gonna... Uh, and we're gonna end up having like one overpowered Pokemon, unless I grind, which is gonna be messed up if I do grind. Alright, get out of here. Alright, I guess that was an okay baton pass, but quit baton passing, man. That's messed up. Okay, maybe that's the only move it knows. Alright, and a Charmander. You get a total out and a Charmander on your team? That's kind of weird. Alright. Surf. There we go. And down goes that Charmander and defeated that trainer. All right. Now these Whirlpools, of course, we cannot use until we get the TM for Whirlpool, which I think is a TM in this game. It was an HM before, but I believe... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All right. I don't care. I don't care if I'm not risking... I'm not risking the can't escape. I am swapping out. That is too dangerous for me. Okay. Um... I'm not sure if it's a TM in this game or if it was uh, kept an HM. I believe it was a, turned into a TM. I know in the second gen games it was made an HM because, I don't know, it's just a second gen. But uh, I remember, I not, don't remember if Whirlpool was a TM or not. It would make sense that it's an HM because you use it. Oh, maybe it's not in this game because we're playing Soul, we're playing Heart Gold, but I don't know. It, it would be that way either way. I'm not sure. But regardless, we're going to go ahead and continue fighting this Slowpoke and eventually taking it out. There we go. Okay, excellent. And we're learning Slam, just a generic move. Um, the foe is Slam with a long tail, vines, etc. to inflict damage. Uh, I guess we can use Defense Curl. Or get rid of Defense Curl, I'm sorry. Uh, it makes sense to give her Defense Curl. Because with Flail, that's a low HP move. Takedown lowers our HP, which we don't really want in this kind of playthrough. So Slam is a good replacement for Takedown for the moment. Uh, until I learn something different. And until Rollout stops sucking. But for now, we're just going to do that. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm seeing what is literally just to the left. I can, like, almost see it if I were... Oh no, not again. Oh no, not again. Oh no, not again. Alright, I need to really switch Dumbo from the front of the party. That's the second time we've not been able to escape. Luckily, Icy Wind missed. Alright, we're switching Dumbo from the front of the party into garbage just because it is very good. And this is CN Wood. Hello, everyone. Hello, friends. CN Wood. Alright. Ooh, getting a little bit of low slow down there. I don't know what's going on, but regardless, let's enter the Pokemon Center and heal up. Luckily, we made it across that ravine, I guess. Wait, do I have flying type? Oh, I do. Okay, I have Charizard. Do I have a flying type other than Charizard? Because I really don't want to teach Charizard to fly because that would suck. Uh, let me go back and into move Pokemon. Um, I do not. Do I have a dead Pokemon that would do that? No. The Dugtrio and Ambipom. Alright, so we're going to have to either find a Pokemon that can learn fly, just maybe luckily, or... We're going to have to teach Charizard fly or just surf our way back. That would suck. Um, yeah, that would suck. All right, the Safari Zone is actually this way, so we can probably do that next episode too. In addition to the uh, the gym, but right here is a little mini game, th not mini game, a mini side event. So we are going to do this now before the end of the episode. There goes Suicune. Hello, hello, goodbye, goodbye. And he runs across the water. What the heck, man? Hello there. Yo, Aaron. Wasn't that Suicune just now? I only caught a glimpse, but I think I saw Suicune running on those waves. Suicune is beautiful and grand, and it races through towns and roads at simply awesome speeds. It's wonderful. 
I want to see Suicune up close. I've decided. I'll battle you as a trainer to earn Suicune's respect. Come on, Aaron. Let's battle now. Yeah, because Suicune is around to see you battle us. That makes sense. But all right, we're going to go against Mystery Man you seen. And he sends out Gas. Wait, is his a predetermined team? Doesn't he have a Ghastly on his regular team? It's a possibility. I know he's got an Electrode. That was one of the things I always remember was he had an Electrode. And what else does he have? I can't remember what else he has. But down goes Ghastly, no problem. Oh, is he stronger than ours? What the heck? Okay. There is that. He's got a Gloom. Okay, so we do I know he's randomized because he does not have a Gloom in the regular fight, so... That's good. Alright, Chaz. This ended up being a longer episode, even though I wanted it to be a short one. Oh, joy. The joys of doing recordings. Alright, down goes Gloom. Oh, Gloom did not die. Gloom was not kill. Not kill. Alright, but... There, now down goes Gloom. Alright. And there should be one more Pokemon, if I remember, if I looked correctly. Alright, and he's about to use Luminion. What a strange Pokemon. That's one of those other Pokemon... That you just forget exists. Alright, let's go to Slurp. Slurp's pretty tanky, so it should be able to do decent damage. Oops. Should be able to mess with Luminion for a good bit. Ooh, you're poisoned. Oh, but I can't put you to sleep anymore. Alright, let's go into Pound. And Pound again. Water Pulse is doing dangerous things to me. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. Heal up? I don't want to scream too loud because it's. It is currently really, really late, so I don't want to wake my entire family by screaming really loud. I'm surprised they can't hear me right now. But there we go. He is down for the count. You're amazing, Aaron. I'm starting to understand why Suicune was keeping an eye on you. I'm going to keep searching for Suicune. I have a feeling we'll see each other again. See you around. All right, see you around there, buddy boy. Buddy, buddy boy. All right, shut up, Liz. No one wants to talk to you. Oh, I... All right, I guess we talked to her. All right, what's in here? Go, go in here. What's in here? I remember there was something to do with the Game Boy printer back in Gen 2. What is in here? I don't remember the last time someone came to visit me. When I was young, I was a Pokemon trainer too. I tried to reach a tower and divide into the ocean. I put a lot of effort into the... Alright, so... Maybe no one visits you because you just talk a bunch and don't give us free things. Maybe that's why. Alright, so that's going to be it for this episode. That was a weird... Alright! Alright, alright! Wait, what's here? Alright, see what City Pharmacy. Okay, so we're gonna have to go there. Um, but we're going to save that for next time on Pokemon Heart Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke. Thank you all for watching so much. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you are a new viewer to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a fantastic day, everyone.